Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I'm just going to, uh, <clears throat> replenish my hearts real quick because of this annoying feature that you start your existing file with not full health. Alright, we're gonna try to work our way to the next dungeon. The next dungeon in sequential order, and I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while to get to this area, just because of how the game is laid out. You're supposed to get to the Lost Woods. Now, you don't... You don't have to do the dungeons in any particular order, and there's no rewards, as far as I'm aware, for doing them in any special order. Uh, I forgot my controls for a second. As far as I'm aware, there's no rewards for doing them in any special order. You'll save yourself a lot of trouble if you just go out of order, because some of those other dungeons are just right there, and this one you've got to go, like, do a lot of back and forth just to get to it. But I want to show you something, guys. I want to show you something real quick. If you walk through this archway in the light world... Ah! Yeah, this will always transform you back to the dark world, and even if I go so far as to use the mirror. Okay, well that wasn't a very good demonstration because of where I was positioned. Let's try right here. Oh no, that's not it either. See, even when I walk, no matter what, just when I walk through that area, it's going to, um... I don't think that's gonna work. Basically, yeah, whenever you walk through that area, it, uh... You get teleported through to the Dark World. So that's a that's an easy way to get to the Dark World if you're wanting to. Oh, in other news, I am recording... Well, hang on, I'll talk about that later. I want to correct a little thing I mentioned in the last video that I technically got wrong. And that was when I was trying to explain the lore of the Dark World. I implied that... Well, I didn't imply, I blatantly said... That Ganon, in Ocarina of Time, if you should lose that battle, he corrupts Hyrule, and then something counterbalances everything and creates the Light World. That was false. Um, this game's timeline is still based on the idea that you lost that battle in Ocarina of Time. Though the way it works is like, uh, according to the story, it, it's, it always gets confusing to me, but according to the story, um, Link loses the battle, the sages seal Ganon, and he's got the whole Triforce at that point, because he's taken it from Link's carcass and he takes it from uh, Zelda. And the sages still managed to seal him with the full Triforce. And he, uh... They seal him in the Sacred Realm. And he, uh... What do you call it? Uh, with the Triforce, he corrupts the whole Sacred Realm into the Dark World. So Hy Hyrule remains Hyrule, but the Sacred Realm became the Dark World, which is kind of what this game said anyway. Uh, meanwhile, you notice I just let my fairies, I let two of my fairies out, and you're thinking, what? Why would you do that? Because I can get fairies back pretty quickly. I want to try something. Oh, wait. Maybe it's here. I want to catch these bees. I want to catch a couple of bees with my bottle. Ow. Stop. Stop hitting me! <laughs> yeah, that's a thing that you can do, actually. Believe it or not. Oh. Okay, now I need health. Should I go back to Link's house? I probably should. 
Unless, unless there's something that's respawned in here. Unless, you know, maybe I can get some health in this room, possibly? Ow! I always forget about those stupid rats. No health, eh? Okay, that's nice. But yeah, I, I uh, grabbed uh, a couple bees in exchange for fairies. I left one fairy because I th think I will still need it. Now, why would you do that? Well, just trust me, I have a plan. All right, let me, um, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this indeed? Okay, um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the fairy ocarina, not the fairy ocarina, the flute. I want to call this the ocarina so badly. I'm going to use the flute and go over here. Oh wait, isn't this a isn't this a fairy fountain in here? Yes, it is. Oh no, just uh, regular fairies. That's good to know. Let's go. Man, this guy is fast. This guy's ruthless. Like, I just poke my nose out of that cave and he just comes flying my way. I'm like, bro, don't you have other things to do? Whatever. Let's try and work our way to the Lost Woods. It is very difficult to get there because of... Because of how this place is laid out. And I feel... Okay, well, yeah. Here, let's switch to hookshot. By the way, I am recording this. Oh, that's bad. There we go. By the way, I'm recording this on February 29th, 2024. Uh, that's important for two reasons. A, it's leap day. Cracks me up when people say that the day is leap year. I'm like, no, the entire year of 2024 is leap year, hence why we call it leap year. Today is just the day that that actually means something. But more importantly, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out today. Uh... I don't have it yet. Um, I could have... I, I don't like to... I could have bought it digitally. I could have pre-ordered it, too, and gotten a sweet deal. But the fact of the matter is, is, like, my PS5 only has so much space. And I, I don't feel like managing all that. So I really am just wanting to get a physical copy. Of course, nothing's open right now. I, I literally just woke up. Um, and unfortunately, all the stores open up after... I get to work. Um, so when I leave work, there, it's very possible that uh, that they'll be sold out. But I will try to pick up a copy today. All right. So this this I didn't know what to do. You stand right here. Now can I can I fall into the water? Yeah, I can. So let's let's not actually fall into the water. Stand here, and you see those two skulls on the other side. You can hook shot to those. I did not know you could do that. Now, that is... At this point, that is the only way to get to this side, to this space right here. Because, as you can see, there is water separating us everywhere else. And there's other stuff. If you try to go through here, there's stuff that's blocking you. This Right now, this is the only way you can get to this spot. Uh, later on, uh, you'll have other ways of getting there. But right now, not so much. So, yeah... Trying to get to the Lost Woods at this point is not the easiest thing in the world. And man, I hate these guys. You know what? I'm not even going to mess with you. So yeah, Final Fantasy Rebirth.
All right. No, didn't want to do that. I actually really did not want to do that, but whatever. No, come on, Link. Can you stay on one screen? Okay, well, I don't need you guys. Okay, here's a little cool little thing. This has nothing to do with the dungeon, but uh, if you stand here and use the mirror, you can go in here and get... Actually, you know what? Save some bombs. Watch all of the rest of the chests have rupees. Or hearts. Oh, wow. Did I call it or what? It's okay, I'll get more bombs. Anyway, any here is a piece of heart. Yay! Yeah, to my knowledge, there's no other way to get... Well, there, not to my knowledge, there is no other way to get to this spot. Except to do what I just did. Now that's something my, oh there, see I got my bomb back. That's something I really like about this game is how they handle the light and dark world. All right, what's in here? Uh, you pay that guy up there and he tells you something. They tell you little bits about the inner workings of this game, like story-wise. Like, oh hey, this is, like, like I think that guy literally just says, I wandered in here and now I'm an animal. So it's nothing that great. Actually, let me read that sign and see what it says. This way is a cave. No kidding. Okay. This guy's got pitchforks. This way is the skeleton forest, and this way is the village of outcasts. The village of outcasts. That's where we are. This is... This is... What is known in, in the light world as Kakariko Village. There's an outcast spirit, too. Boy, when they say outcast, they mean outcast. Even the souls of those who couldn't make it to heaven. Oh, hello. We got a talking tree, or a bomb shooting tree. Yeah, watch out for that. Uh, there's one particular house I'm looking for. No, it's not here. Huh, that's trippy. I think it's this house. Yes, this is the one. If you talk to this guy, may I help you? You can uh, open two chests for 30 rupees. Why don't you play? Sure, I'll play. All right, kid, choose well. Good luck. Um, I'm totally okay with playing this game because, look, I paid 30 rupees and I got 100 back. So, there you go. I actually got... I just got 70 rupees for, for playing that whole game. But, there's actually something I want to get. Ah, there it is! You can get a piece of heart. Um, there you go. I'm not worried about rupees. Money's not that important. Especially since there's money right there. Oh, by the way, hookshot... ...can boomerang stuff towards you. Alright, where is... Alright, so that's enough wasting time. Let's actually try to find what is called the Lost... Well, what... What we know as the Lost Woods, and this world knows as... I believe the Skeleton Woods. I believe it's up here? Oh, that's bad! No. I'm not taking all that... I'm not taking all that damage. So here's the the skeleton woods. I like this music, but not quite as much as just the main overworld theme of the dark world. Still really cool music, though. All right, so this hole looks like something you don't want to fall down in, right? Well, believe it or not, it leads to 
Now I'm not I'm not gonna actually go in there, but it leads to the dungeon. Believe it or not, this dungeon has multiple entrances, and we're gonna want to check them all out. So I think. For the sake of efficiency, I think I want to start with this one. Yeah, this is definitely the one. Oh, I just realized something. Don't stand in one spot too long. Because of that right there. It's the hands from the first Zelda game. If they catch you... I don't think they hurt you. They just damn it. They just uh, put you back to the very beginning of the dungeon, or in this case, the entrance room, which is actually this very room that we're in. So it wouldn't be that big of a problem. Anyway, hit this switch. Oh, yeah, it's a toggle switch. You can kill the hands, but they will respawn. So there's no point. So let's drag this statue up to the switch. Go through here. Oh, oh, come on now. That's a cheap shot. Ah, okay. You know what? Bombos! Screen nuke. Ow, he still hit me. Well, I get my health back. Don't abuse Bombos if you don't have the uh, deal that I do with the uh, the half magic thing. Anyway, here is the big key. So right away we got that. So that's handy. Uh, before I leave this place, let me go in here and just see if there's anything I want to do here. I can, I can snag another key, I believe. Oh, that guy took one hit. All right, got another key. Um, I could, well, I guess I am going out here. Uh, this just leads over here, but that's really nothing I care about now. I, I don't want this exit. I. I don't even know why I bothered to show it, because I will be going out that exit later. Bye, losers. Yeah, I'm not going to be too worried about abusing uh, Bombos, because it's not terribly hard to get magic refills. Uh, especially when you have a whole bunch of enemies on screen, and you nuke them all at once, you're increasing your likelihood of getting... Uh, Uh, magic refill. Now I'm going to drop down here. All right. Oh. See, I already got my magic refilled. Oh, that's bad. Let's try hookshotting these guys. Yeah, hookshot is great because it stuns a lot of enemies. Doesn't work for everybody. And hello, Super Mario Flame Stick. Um, I will attempt to break open some of these skulls, but I don't think they really... Yeah. Don't need it. I know the other two skulls don't really have anything important either. That Now, that was lame. That was lame because... Okay, hang on a minute. There we go. Ugh! I, that's the one bad thing about the hook shot is you can't move when you use it. Um, so if you miss like I did, it's you're kind of screwed. Anyway, there's the compass, and yes, it changes the floor around, so... Makes all these holes appear, so that's not good. Well, I mean, you just be careful. It's good. Anyway, and I got the compass. Alright, uh... Let's use Bombos.
Aha! I uh, see, and look at that. Full magic restoration. And there's uh, another key. But yeah, Final Fantasy VII, I'm looking forward to it. I played um, the first part of the remake, and I actually enjoyed it. A lot of people were, weren't too sure about it, and I totally get that. I enjoyed it. There's the big chest over there, we'll have to figure out how to get that. Now let's see... How do I wanna... Ow! I walked right into that. Oh, that wasn't very smart of me at all. Yep, never mind. That's not... No, 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 let's not hookshot there. I, yeah, that's... That's a dumb move on my part. But, I might be able to... There we go. And there's the map. Yeah, no, no, note that you can cut uh, through some of the uh, the overgrown vines and stuff. That's useful. Oh boy. These mummies take like a bajillion hits to kill. Oh, crap, he got me. No. Well, here. I'll show what happens. See, I'm all the way back here. That sucks. <laughs> Those bumpers are actually kind of fun. All right. But watch out for him. Another key. Man, I'd just be getting all kind of keys around here. Let's see. Oh, that was lame. That was dumb. Oh. Don't worry about that door. Um, I know where that door leads. It, um... Matter of fact, what's out here? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that door's not terribly important. Don't worry about it. Like, one of the rooms that I was already in... Uh, goes through that door. So, just trust me not to worry about it. Anyway, down here... Aha! Oh boy, don't let that thing take your stuff. Wait. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, what's the point of this room? Duh! Plant a bomb right here, that's the point of this room. Alright, let's see. If you're interested, you can, uh... Hookshot your way over here. And pick up stuff that I don't need. But if you're more interested, you can hit the switch. Which is what you need to do. Oh, hello. You know what? I don't want to take that hit. I'm being very OCD here. Yeah, the hookshot destroys those things. I love it. Anyway, big chest. Fire rod. This rod commands the red fire, but watch your magic meter. I know, I know. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here like this. Now let let's actually go out 
this other way. Oh, wait, no. Wait. Hold up. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, that was my fault. See, if I go down... What happens if I go in here? Yeah, that's the room. Okay, yeah. So there you go. That room. I don't want to go in that room. Actually, this may... Yeah, you know what? Let's just use our, our mirror. Because I've already gotten lost. Oh, never mind. Huh. Well, I'll find my way out. Ah. Leave me alone, I'm trying to take a sip of my coffee. Alright, now I want to go... Back to the very first entrance. That we went into. Now, that, now Because now I've got everything I need. Oh, come on! Oh, that was cheap. Let's go to Hookshot. Actually, no, let's go to Fire Rod. We're about to put the Fire Rod to use right now. This skeletal structure right here, if you shoot your Fire Rod at it, uh, there you go. This is the, this is the no turning back. Um... Uh, entrance. I mean, obviously you can turn back. It's very easy to turn back, but there's, uh... Okay, no, let's not go this way. Let's not go this way. There's there's literally nothing up there. Hey, stop following... Well, here, I'll... 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 T no, yeah, we'll... It's not that there's nothing up there, it's just that we don't need to go there just yet. Um... Alright, so this thing right here, this whole room... Uh, like, there's a wall. Okay, so see, I, I can just walk under this bridge. But over here, there is a wall to my right. So there you go. And there's a wall to my... And there's a wall here, too. So you have to know how to navigate this area. Watch out for that stupid glowy orb thingy spinny thing. Wait, how... That's not fair. How come he can he can just go right through that, but I can't? There we go. And there we go. Okay. Uh I don't actually think there's anything on this walkway. Yeah, actually I wonder. That doesn't work. Haha. -ha. That was actually not a very smart move of me because they're gonna be right by this door. So that that little collection of gold stars that tried to bum rush me and I managed to destroy it. If that thing touches you, what happens is Link uh, gets tr transformed back into a bunny. But only for... That was a dumb idea on my part. But only for, like, a couple of seconds. Not for good. No, I don't want to do that. I want to go back here. Actually, you know what? No, screw this. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Take me back to the beginning of the dungeon, please. Watch out. That's nice. 
Ah, uh, this area is fun. Um, that was not a good idea. I forgot about those things. No! Hang on. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this, guys. I'm gonna get this. J just trust me, I got this. Oh, that was dumb. Uh. Oh, come on! There we go. Ugh. Bumbos! I hope it takes out that guy at the bottom. And it did. Fill up my magic. Now what you want to do... Is you want to light all of these... With your fire rod. And it opens that door. Nice! Bumbos! If the hand, by the way, reaches the uh, floor and you use Bombos, you, you can destroy the hand with it, too. Alright, so where, what am I supposed to do? Well, you're supposed to slash away that thing right there. It reveals the way forward. Shoot, abuse it, I don't care. Bombos is awesome. And I don't really need magic for the boss. Alright. Well, okay. That hole, that takes us right to the boss. So I'm gonna go get the jar of bees ready. When you're ready, you go down that hole and fight the boss. I'm not gonna lie, this boss is annoying. But we're gonna try it. Mm. Let's try not to abuse safe states. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to get as many shots off of this thing as I can. This is a very annoying boss because it's flying around. You're standing on basically a, a conveyor belt type deal. And you're trying to dodge projectiles. Now what's funny is this thing actually is susceptible. Like, if you launch a bee at it, it will attack the boss and actually do damage to the boss. So that's pretty amazing. He's actually damaging the boss. And I'm gonna die. Ah! Uh, here. I, I have a fairy that can help me, but I'm going to try to do that again, because... That... That was just a very bad demonstration. But yeah, you're trying to dodge crap, and you're trying to, uh... You're getting pulled around in different directions by the treadmills. Yeah, this, this is, boss is so annoying. Uh, stay away from me! And he follows you, too. Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna cut to when I get this right.
Ah! Well, I ended up using one of my fairies anyway. That is an annoying boss. There's just so much garbage to dodge. But it's cool that you can use bees against him. That's pretty fun. I was hoping to do it without having to use my fairy, but whatever. Alright, you better appreciate that, little girl. 480, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear. And he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected by the royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. Do you understand? Not really, but le let's just say I do. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Well, as we all know in video games, there are always prophecies, and you are always the chosen one. All right, let's get out of this forsaken forest. I'm just gonna get somewhere where, you know... Oh, well, that's not nice. Hmm. I'm kind of stuck here, aren't I? I actually have to go back into the dungeon. What do you know? Um, and go out this way. You can, you can just barely make it over that. All right, all right, all right, all right, safe. All right, let's go ahead and use our mirror. Yeah, we'll go ahead and use the mirror. And I'll make my way back to Link's house. Well, actually, no, I won't. I'll just end off right here. Um, in the next video, we'll see about getting to our next dungeon. Actually, uh, which one was that? That was... Oh, well, I can't see because I'm not in the... The Dark World. So I'm guessing that was the third dungeon. Oh, the fourth dungeon's actually really close. Supposedly. I don't exactly know where. Anyway, in the next video, we'll uh, continue on. I didn't mean to do that. In the next video, we'll continue on. Wrong button. And we'll uh, see what happens with the fourth dungeon. Uh, I am 480 Volts, and I will see you next time. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.